All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to shift our focus onto our next thought leader. Armed with 25 plus years of experience in the healthcare industry, he is heading the pan India marketing sector of Intas Pharmaceuticals. He has a deep passion of meeting enthusiastic marketing professionals and entrepreneurs in the pharmaceutical domain. In a few moments from now, he'll be joining us to share his golden nuggets of insights to the kind of marketing campaigns we need to evolve to meet evolving stakeholder needs. So ladies and gentlemen, without much further ado, please put your hands together for Mr. Shankar Sen, Executive Vice President at Intas Pharmaceuticals. How do we go back? Back? Great. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Technology has this habit of abandoning you when you need it most, and you saw that just now. I must uh, first start by congratulating the organizers for putting this beautifully curated program. I was thoroughly enjoying my learnings as long as I was in the audience, though I cannot guarantee you the same over the next 20, 25 minutes. Uh, I'm also acutely aware of the fact that it is blasphemous to stand between an audience and lunch, especially in a country which is ranked some 139th on the global hunger index, no matter how disputed that index is. But unfortunately, fate has it that way this hour for us. So kindly bear with me. What is the challenge over the next 20 minutes? We have a very, very vast topic. You have chosen for yourself an incompetent and uh, fumbling speaker. I have an enlightened audience, so I can take a few liberties. And we have little, little time to go through such a vast topic. So allow me to attempt. And when I attempt, these are my assumptions. Some of you have already gone through it, so I will not waste time on it. So we are not going to, uh, again, study the basics of pharmaceutical marketing. We are not going to look at how pharma marketing is different, because I believe each one of you uh, is already neck deep into it, and you don't need a reiteration of the obvious. Uh, I'm, I'm incapable of giving you a new model or a new set of jargons, because I'm not qualified. It's not that uh, it is impossible. I can always have a couple of uh, slides from a couple of books to throw a couple of more jargons. but. I'm not qualified to do it, I will not do. And uh, here are my confessions. I'm not an expert. Do not under any condition believe what the brochure says about me. Don't do that. I'm not an expert. I'm just a glorified salesman trying to figure out how to do next month's target. But I don't know why they have just put me here. Thank you for that. I think that just took off the the shaking of the knees that was going on till now. <laughs> uh, nothing that you're going to hear over the next 20 minutes is new. So prepared to be bored. I have also made the presentation with the assumption that I am a brand manager, and I have been mandated by my boss to create a breakthrough marketing campaign for evolving customer needs. So I'm a brand manager. With that viewpoint, I have made that presentation. So, sir, if you find uh, the presentation a bit juvenile, blame yourself. You are overqualified. <laughs> Here we go. Why do we need a breakthrough marketing campaign? Reasons are simple. Clutter. Half a decade ago, we were launching Teneligliptin. 19 brands got launched on the same day. A couple of months ago, we launched Vildagliptin. I think 32 brands were launched on the same day. <laughs> Do not forget the clutter. So unless you have something breakthrough, you will be facing that clutter. Of course, you are, if you are privileged, you work for a company which has a research molecule, then your compulsions and the available resources are different, and hence you can take the liberty of thinking that the clutter does not exist for me, and whatever I have is already breakthrough, so why do I bother? You can go ahead and make a simple brand plan and get away with it. But for the mere mortals like you and me, this is something you're going to face. The second challenge that comes is the expectations. The expectation can be 
my ambition about my brand the expectation can also be and mostly is the organization's expectation from the brand so i have a 500 crore market there is loss of exclusivity brands will be launched at one fourth the price 500 crore loss of exclusivity brands will be launched at one fourth the price and you have a mandate create a 50 crore brand a simple calculation on a tissue paper available on your desk will show you that it is impossible it cannot be done you will have to build over the years to reach that kind of penetration and that kind of prescriptions to have a brand of worth 50 crore in a market which was 500 at one fourth the price actually available market becomes 125 even it grows by 100% it becomes 250 and there are 32 brands being launched and you want a 50 crore brand in year 1 the unfortunate bit is we don't essentially carry the courage to tell it to our bosses so we get the brand plan sanctioned any which way ah <laughs> <sighs> the classic dilemma where to start where to start so i have the mandate i have opened my powerpoint slide beautiful white pristine and i am scratching my head yaar chalu kahan se kare here are my two cents look at market research data when i say market research the usual suspects like ims prescription ims ssa hsa tsa the cmarc data the smsrc data the healthplex data the sejdime data the white space data lots of data but i have a humble submission and that submission comes from the compulsion of of uh, this word here breakthrough the compulsion also comes from this word here evolving sit with your medical services team sit with your seniors create a small questionnaire go out and talk to a couple of doctors ask your sales managers and rbms to administer it to couple of doctors get the insights thereof that market research is i think in technical it is called primary or something i'm i'm not very sure i'm not conversant with it probably might be able to give you a nugget a hook or a clue which will make your brand plan stand out make it more grounded and more connected do not forget that do not just rely on the syndicated data i bow down to every market research professional available in this room but sir that data is a record of history as a marketer i am mandated to influence tomorrow so do i have a clue as to how the customer will behave tomorrow that is the challenge there is a chasm between this two and if i can bridge that chasm i am home and dry example here we go unfortunately with my limited experience i i handle only cardio diabeto i don't handle entire inta somebody was saying that i handle only cardio diabeto in inta so my examples will essentially be from cardio diabeto and some of you might not be able to connect with it my apologies for that imagine you are launching vildagliptin sustained release vildagliptin classically is a twice daily drug you are launching vildagliptin sustained release so your 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 formulation team has given you a once daily formulation of vildagliptin the funny bit is you know at the back of your head there's a, as i am trying to do vildagliptin sustained release sitagliptin is also going to lose it patent over the next couple of months now there is no syndicated data that will tell you how the doctor will behave if given a choice between vildagliptin sustained release and sitagliptin at the same price the onus is on you create a small questionnaire and ask please have the courage to ask that silly question to the doctor sir if vildagliptin is made once daily by technology and if at same price sitagliptin is available what would you prefer to write very very vital and if there is a set of doctor who says okay we'll still write vildagliptin under such 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 conditions or situations you have a clue for your vildagliptin sustained release brand plan 
very, very vital for you. So do not only rely on the syndicated data is my two cents on it. The next is uh, try to figure out what is the USP of your brand. Uh, I'm sure all of you have read Kotler at some point of your time uh, while going through standard marketing texts. And when we are talking about USP, do not look only at your core brand. Please look at your augmented brand. For the rest of it, refer to Kotler. We have only 20 minutes time here, yeah. I'm trying to save some. Great, look at the augmented brand. Next, your target audience, the patient, the doctor, do we have some profiling? We had some brilliant, brilliant, let me have my fan moment, Mr. Rinkesh. I don't know if you're present here. I think he was here, he just left. When he arrives, please tell him, you are stunning today, absolutely stunning. You heard a lot about profiling a doctor and taking the help of technology today to do that. Please try it in your own humble way. Try it. If you can do that, you are able to sort of fine tune your communication better. We'll come to that in the next step, but look at it this way. I call up a brand manager and ask him, MSL mein kitne doctor hai? Sir, Amuk Hazar. Are yaar usme se, ye cardiologist kitne hai tere paas? Sir, Amuk Hazar. Or wo jo cardiologist hai, usme DM student kitne hai? Sir, Amuk Hazar. All answers, all of you are aware. And then I ask him, how many lady cardiologists do we have on our MSL? Sir, check karke batata hu. The poor fellow will have to go back to the database and probably have to ring up his RBMs and ask Ki how many lady cardiologists do I have on my MSL? It's a reality. It's a reality in a humble company like mine. If you have traveled beyond it in your organization, congratulations. If you haven't, please try to do it. It makes a lot of difference, lot of difference. The whole purpose, well, it is in red here. Where, by whom, on whom, when, and why will my product be used? All those W's are important. All those W's are important. And the entire purpose is to have that understanding. Once that understanding is there, the rest of the discussions like the patient journey and all are, would be integrated into it. But the core question is, where, by whom, on whom, when, and why will my product be used? Very, very vital. You sh I should be able to answer all those questions in my brand plan. If I do that, maybe, maybe I will stumble across what is being asked here, breakthrough, and what is being mentioned there as evolved. So when acetagliptin comes at the same price, the customer's preference might evolve. And if you have already factorized it in your market research, you might be able to answer that evolved requirement. That's my humble, humble understanding of what I have been asked to do. Next, okay, after all those W's, what to say? Very vital, and uh, all of you are aware uh, that we need to figure out what are we going to tell to the doctors, what are we going to tell to the patients, and sometimes we miss it, but what are we going to tell to our distribution partners? Now that distribution partner is again evolving very quickly, and maybe we'll touch it in some subsequent slide, or I'm sure it will be touched in some subsequent session as well. But the red, the red words there on the slide are important. What is the tone? Are we going to Tell the doctor that if you don't write my product, all your patients are going to die. Are we going to tell the doctor that my brand will bring unbridled happiness into the lives of the customer? What is the tone? What, what exactly do we want to communicate? It is not only the choice of words, it is also the tonality. Here is an example once more from whatever humble background I have. We were handed over a brand of amlodipine just when Tell Me Sartan was taking the market by storm. That amlodipine brand in another division was degrowing and it was handed over to us. In our division, 
बिकॉज द बॉस थॉट वी वुड बी एबल टू डू समथिंग कुछ तो करो यार एंड वी वर रियली स्ट्रक बिकॉज ऑन टारगेट ट्रायल हैड कम एंड देर वॉज नो रीजन फॉर अ डॉक्टर नॉट टू ट्राई टेल मी सार्टन इट वॉज एंड 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 वी हैव आवर गुड कोलीग रनिंग द लार्जेस्ट ब्रांड ऑफ टेल मी सार्टन अंडर द सन प्रोबेबली नॉडिंग इज हेड सो तुषार नोज वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट वी डिड वॉज वी क्रिएटेड अ कम्युनिकेशन दैट ऑलमोस्ट irritated the doctor because we figured out by extensive discussion with our medical representatives that the doctor doesn't listen to amtas detailing sunta hi nahi hai sir panna kholte bolte aage badho aur ye bahut takleef hai sir sunega tab na likhega sunta hi nahi hai sir kholne nahi deta panna heavy challenge and we figured out that we need to do something to excite the doctor to take a look at the amtas page maybe ask a counter question to the mr समथिंग मतलब जगाओ तो सही डॉक्टर सो रहा है भाई एमटास की पेज जब खोलते हैं एंड वी सेड इन आवर कम्युनिकेशन ओपनर डिड यू प्रेस्क्राइब एमटास टूडे बिलीव मी आई रिसीव्ड फोन कॉल्स फ्रॉम डॉक्टर्स टेलिंग मी योर एम आर हैड द ऑदासिटी टू आस्क मी दिस क्वेश्चन आई टोल्ड हिम किसने बनाया बात करा उसके साथ मेरी एटलीस्ट ही वोक अप रिजल्ट वी कुड मैनेज अ 15 परसेंट अ डिसेंट ग्रोथ इन एमलोडिप इन दैट ईयर वी कुड मीट अवर टारगेट्स ऑफ आवर एम टास्क फॉर दैट ईयर इट इज पॉसिबल सो द टोन इन दिस केस वॉज प्रोबेबली द इनोवेशन और द ब्रेक थ्रू दैट वी वॉज सीकिंग अनफॉर्चुनेटली no standard market research data would have thrown up that insight it came from discussing with the mr who complained ki sir kaise detail ka panna nahi kholne deta understand that and if you can capture that you are home and dry you don't need an earth shattering molecule you can do it in the clutter of the me too's and still have breakthroughs because you are addressing something that others might be overlooking at least for some time sure computers will catch up later on but what to plan break through marketing strategy what to plan the budgeting the resource allocation please look at channels we have had huge debates over whether we should have digital and physic physical somebody said digital and then then we had that brilliant suggestion that please do not look at these two things as separate so please look at marketing in the digital world i think that is the crux so we need to figure out what channels what is the scheduling scheduling plays a very vital role and has an implication on your budget so take a mundane example you want to have a tv commercial of your brand the peak hours will cost you more you want to sort of telecast it in some dead hour say say 130 in the afternoon it will cost you less simple so scheduling that's an extreme example that might not be your everyday case but that's an extreme example but it gives you an idea that scheduling has a cost it has a cost that cost might be actual cost of owning that channel or acquiring that channel or creating that uh, commercial that cast cost can also be the opportunity cost that the other brand in that same portfolio somebody had a brilliant question on how to do how to figure out four five brand priorities that cost can also be the opportunity cost that the other brand in your portfolio has uh roi we had a debate where we uh, a very intelligent question saying ye sab to theek hai lekin when we ever we are trying to do something we are asked about roi please remember that it is very vital and uh, i might sound criminal anti proletariat but dhanda to yaar profit ke liye kiya jata hai have clarity you are in business because you generate profit if you don't generate profit then you are one of those new world tech companies who are infused with a lot of finance and then some day 
they do an IPO, transfer the entire debt to the common man, and the rest of the world walks away. We don't have that privilege. We are brick and mortar. Despite all the dis discussions on digital that we have till now, we are brick and mortar. And uh, we don't have that privilege or I don't know what we, what is the word to be used there. I many which were very poor in English. But please do remember that what you can do on a 500 rupees per day therapy cannot be possibly replicated per se or in toto on a 5 rupees per day therapy. Be aware of that. So an outlandish plan might win you the best brand plan award and then you go to the boss who says, yaar, award to mil gaya, ab ye ye na, thoda sa tone down kar, yaar, budget pass karna hai. Let's be practical on that. So the ROI becomes very, very important because, as I mentioned, business is for profit. And I can understand the, the social responsibility that each one of us has. Uh, the very fact that a 60 rupees tablet is being launched by us at 12 rupees is, is, is doing some kind of social responsibility, something in the social responsibility spectrum. Leave it at that. Now you figure out at 12 rupees, how can you make profit? That is your and my job. Let us focus on that. What to monitor? Hundreds of metrics. Hundreds of metrics. Example, secondary YPM, yield per covered customer, yield per channel, and these things are becoming important moving forward. Yield per covered customer will become more important because now digitally covered customer is beyond the physically covered customer. So we need, have, we need to have some kind of a metrics there. Uh, the YPM is a fantastic metric, but if you can have a secondary YPM and if you trust your secondary data, you have a better metric there. And yield per channel becomes important because specifically if you are uh, like me in cardio diabetes space, you know 40% of turnover of say e-pharmacies come from a chronic care space, so you need to know what is your plan of uh, being present in the e-pharmacy, what is your plan of being present in the hospitals, what is your plan of being present in the chain pharmacies, and uh, what is your plan for the traditional pharma model. I'm not sure why we are calling it traditional, it's simply because we are too smitten by digital. Traditional is our bread and butter, so let us call it our pharma marketing, okay? Metrics need to be chosen very carefully. And if you are a young brand manager who wants to pinpoint the metric that you would use for your brand plan, please talk to your seniors. Example, here we go. The number of people in this hall listening to me at this point of time can be a reflection of the organizer's capability to attract an audience. It can be a reflection of my ability to attract and hold an audience. It can also be a reflection that lunch is just round the corner. Be careful. It can also be a reflection that lunch is just round the corner. Jokes apart, have a razor sharp set of metrics that you will measure to understand you have achieved the breakthrough that you want to achieve. If we don't do that, we might be misled. We might be misled. And the standard metrics, which maybe I used to uh, rely on 25 years ago, has slightly changed. And the metrics that you will be using tomorrow will be, I am afraid, completely different, completely different. I cannot underemphasize this. What to avoid? Vague metrics. Rest everything you can make up. But if you have a vague metric, you are in a soup and a boiling one at that. There is no escape. You will end up fooling yourself, so kindly be careful on it. Sit down with your seniors. They have years, tons of expertise. They will tell you which metrics to choose, how to measure yourself. 
नॉइज लेट एस क्रिएट सम नॉइज भाई वॉट इज द मेट्रिक हाउ डू आई मेजर नॉइज इन डेसिबल्स बी वेरी क्लियर यूज द वर्ड नॉइज नो इश्यूज और और इमेज वॉट इज इमेज आई आई डोंट नो यू यू टेल मी हाउ डू आई मेजर इट बाई द पिक्सल्स ऑन अ जेपीजी फाइल हाउ डू आई मेजर इमेज आई कैन आई कैन सजेस्ट अ वे just take a look at it if i say in pharmaceutical industry in ethical pharmaceutical marketing in prescription medication space let us measure image by the number of prescription that brand generates or the number of prescriptions that that company generates fair enough might not be accurate but would give us an idea that so many doctors prefer writing this company's product so this company must be having some kind of a image that is working for them that is my humble submission you can have these metrics but please ensure that they are measurable and not hypes hypes can create gaps in your thought process and those gaps will reflect in your achievement sheet be careful what is the objective what was the objective the whole objective is to create a unique customer experience the whole objective of a brand plan is to create a unique customer experience which if you prescribe another brand you will not get if you prescribe my brand you will get as simple as that here is an example it's a note from a mcdonald's uh, shop to a customer which says hello we have seen you have placed your order from the hospital hope you are keeping well your order is on us the mcdonalds uae team that is what is written there uh, it's not clearly visible what do you see what do you see we see a involved team leader working in that franchisee we see a customer that might feel absolutely stunned and delighted you are a marketer kindly look beyond do you see data algorithm ai ml do you see decision and empowerment that shop floor manager has been empowered by his organization to give this particular order free to the customer he is empowered so if you want to do if you want to do something you have to ensure that you are empowered so have those small talks with your seniors so that when you stumble across something you have the conviction and you get the necessary sanction for that empowerment you can have a brilliant strategy and we might fail to implement it because simply we did not get the go ahead on that simply because we did not get the go ahead of from that if you catch up with me during lunch on one to one i can give you an example of an empowerment that i felt myself and how we took it forward and how we are using that for leadership in fiercely fought markets i cannot share that in a public domain so i will not do it here but we can discuss that but empowerment is very very vital in order to deliver breakthrough performance and in order to address evolving customer needs what do i need you need a lot of organizational trust boss you are a marketer you are supposed to bet on the future if the organization doesn't trust you you will not be able to do anything it's not to suggest that go and oil or lagao maska on your boss but at least have have that conversation with him and tell him that i need your backup and support because i am attempting something that has not been attempted before very very vital for your success 
the empowerment is necessary the responsibility we will have to take you cannot shirk that responsibility i have had sessions with my boss where he has sort said that ye mat karo and i said naukri le lena lekin karna to mujhe yahi hai my company allows that you need to check whether your company allows you to do that getting your breakthrough plan sanctioned is a challenge because you are attempting something nobody has done before it's a challenge acknowledge it don't shy away from it don't skirt the issue you'll have to face it and if you face it during your kra and your review boss you have a problem face it now so that the kra points are decided and people know that yes there is a chance of failure he is trying to attempt something let's see clear ha <sighs> this is the onus the slide is busy so i'll stay on it for 30 seconds i don't need to read it out for you this is tough but unfortunately that's how the cookie crumbles and it is imperative that we stay alert to this a massive massive onus on the market here of handling so many facets of his job so many facets of it massive task for people who are trying to take a photograph of this slide i have already forwarded uh, my slide set and uh, there is no conflict of interest because any which way you are not interested in me so you can have it from mr jena right thank you sir <sighs> i believe the next couple of minutes are for question answer so if you have any questions for the organizers why they wasted your last 20 minutes please ask him and if you have any suggestions for my improvement i am here sir if you want to pour the hot soup on my head i will join you for lunch go ahead if you have any questions do you have any questions you can uh, raise your hand we can uh, we have time for one question actually we are thank you handled with a few words sir such a very very good uh, thank you uh, very good listening to you thank you uh i must confess that this for the first time i am speaking in an industry forum uh, i must also congratulate uh, mr jena for having the audacity of picking me up <laughs> there was <laughs> there was some uh, <laughs> some epithet on the on the flyer which said global thought leader and i was wondering i last saw a globe in class 8 i think <laughs> uh but that that epithet had a nice twang to it so i thought let me enjoy till the time the myth breaks thank you very much for being a very patient audience while i was swaying between uh, juvenile and senile you held your patience so many congratulations on that thank you very much thank you mr sen for that very interesting session and uh, for winning our hearts with that honesty and i'm sure as i can see right now as well you put a big smile on all our faces especially the hungry faces that i can see are looking forward to the food break so thank you sir for uh, joining us and uh, before you leave uh, can i please uh, request dr uh, mahesh uh, abhyankar to please uh, join us on stage and uh, present mr sen with a token of appreciation from our side Thank you sir for joining us